Good morning YouTubers, we're walking into Jib yet again. I've already been to the border um, once and then I couldn't find my passport so I, I always keep it in the same place but you can't, there's no way you get through that border without a passport so <laughs> and to add insult to injury the, uh, I sent off for an e-scooter remember we were saving up for an e-scooter so I could jump the queue and whiz in and out of Jib because that is the ideal thing and uh, they gave it to this useless company called Sur, is it? Yeah. S-U-E-R and uh, for Amazon this is and they don't never deliver because this how big is this marina? Now, there's only one marina in uh, <laughs> La Ligna full of boats and uh, Sur can't find it in other words they just can't be bothered to deliver it and they, they say oh yeah I have to come to our office for it we tried to deliver it we tried how can you not deliver it at one o'clock in the afternoon? You know, there's a big office in the marina office, an enormous control tower. Oh, we couldn't oh. deliver it. You have to come and get it. I might know why. So we sent it back. Perhaps the van couldn't get into the marina for the queue because he hadn't gone back several roundabouts. With Maybe the system. traffic was for the you marina. Just sort of sod this. I'm not sitting yeah. it because they've got targets. To the be. marina's got its own lane. You can get into the marina. The problem is getting back out because of the monkeys in the box because of the border. So we don't have this problem when we're in the house because they, they can usually find the house and ring the doorbell. But. Uh, yeah, no, they were just, I just sent it back. I said, sorry, sent it back. I'll, I'll order it again. But please don't use sir. Use any other courier but sir. So that's where we are today and we're just walking back. We tried to go in in the car this morning, but the queue, unfortunately, was too big. So we thought it'd be quicker to walk. So we started to walk. And of course, I'd taken my coat off to get in the car and I put my passport in my shirt pocket, top shirt pocket, and then I'd forgotten I'd done that. So when I got to the border, it's always in my coat pocket. And uh, I know I'm a silly old fool. Yes, you can all laugh at me. But uh, I had to walk all the way back to the boat to strip off. And then I found it, found it there. Thinking of all the places I could have dropped it because I knew I had it, I knew I had it. Anyway elderly moment, senior moment they call it, don't they? Anyway, we're on our way back to Jib, so I'll catch you later. Busy in here today, isn't it? Popular. Yeah, yeah. What did you order? Fish and chips twice. Excellent. Like Morrison's, it's a good place to come. Fiona? I, want to get some I think you look like Emma Peel. Yeah, I look just like Emma Peel. You do. I could just tweak that outfit a little bit. <laughs> Good afternoon, YouTubers. Well, we're back now. Fiona went to the post office. She got a a book from Australia. So um, she'll be. She's actually really pleased with the book. She's this Lady C's book about Diana. So uh, Lady in Australia, thank you very much for that. Um, to be mentioning it later on because I'm doing a series of little films read it together for the whole day today and uh, other news Lawrence Fox has been arrested that's what just came up on the on my feed um, there was a video of him in his house saying look at this the police are in but there's loads of cops in his house um, searching his house and taking him down to the police station for questioning I think something to do with sabotaging ULES cameras, they're these um, low emission cameras, you've got to pay a fine if you go in a particular part of London in a vehicle, you've got to pay money to, to keep traffic out of the city centre I think, or, but they've extended the zone now, they've made it much bigger and there's loads of people kicking off about it. So, uh, and the other news is about Lawrence is the GB News have actually officially fired him from his job as a news presenter. So he's not having a good day, poor old Lawrence. And the window was packed up on our car, the uh, electric window there. I'll just show you the door. It goes down, but it only goes that far up. Mm. 
Now the other side, the other side over here, that went. There's there's like a cable, electric cable that whizzes round on a little motor, and that one snapped a year ago or so. So I had to send off. I managed to get a new a new unit for for the winder mechanism from eBay, and um, put it on, and it's been fine ever since. But I never got the white bit back on the door handle. That that never went on properly because when you snap these plastic bits off. They never go on properly, so now this, it sounds like this cable snapped on this side, so I'm now going to have to, because the window's only halfway up, <laughs> that's a walk into Gibraltar and leave the car open. So um, my next job is uh, take the door panel off and get the window up to secure the car. And um, I've got a piece of wood, <laughs> which I'll mark, take back to the bolt, cut it off at the right length to jam the window up with the piece of wood from the bottom of the door and um, that I'll have to do until I manage to get another window winder for this side. It's always something isn't there, there's always something. I've been to see the specialist today, the doctor, and um, I've been discussing all kinds of options and uh, it looks like I'm going to have to have a bit of surgery. So that's where we are with that. Oh, it was right first time with that one. Don't lose the screws, Graham. And uh, I'm going to have to get the door off, the door card off. Okay, we've got the door card off. Now I need to just disconnect the uh, cable that goes to the, the door lock. And we can have a look inside here, see what the problem is. So that's off. Not a lot of room in there. Okay, I've managed to get the, the glass up now to the top. Now I've just got to get some wood now measured up and uh, figure out how uh, long I need to cut it. To hold that window up, I think. About there. Right, go and get me jigsaw. Okay, we've got a nice piece of wood cut to size. Let's hope it fits so we won't have to come all the way back and do it again. Let's go and see if we can uh, fit it in the car. Okay, so there it is. And it's held up with, uh, with wood. At least it's short. I need some way of uh, making it stay there now. And uh, they'll have to get on the internet and find a new winder mechanism. Thank you very much, Sue from Australia, for sending me the uh, Lady Colin Campbell book all about Princess Diana. I have been wanting to read this, actually, for quite a while. Um, I know Lady Colin is, uh, Lady C's, not always really um, in favour of Princess Diana, but she did know her, and I like to hear all sides of the argument, so thank you very much for sending that.